Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at some high TDP testing on the new Menace Forum UM790 Pro. Now this is powered by the Ryzen 9 7940HS, which just happens to have the most powerful iGPU on the market right now. And we can actually get a lot more out of this mini PC by allowing the CPU and GPU to clock higher. Plus, we can overclock the iGPU in this thing. Now before we jump into it, I do want to mention that this video is brought to you by URCD Keys. I've actually been using this site for a couple years now. They do offer Steam Keys, Origin, Uplay. They even offer Microsoft applications like Office. But the main reason that I use URCD Keys is for their Windows Keys. Right now, their Windows 10 Pro OEM key is $19.84. But if you use code ETA at checkout, you can get 25% off. And another great thing about buying from here is they do accept PayPal. I just did this build here. I need to activate Windows. I'm going to head over to my updates and security. We're going to go to activation. As you can see, I've got Windows 10 Pro, but it's not activated. So I'm going to change product key. I'm going to paste it in here. Choose next. Choose activate. And Windows is now activated. We're ready to go. My warning is totally gone. And basically that's it. They'll email your code once your payment is processed. And that's basically it. If you're interested in picking up cheap Windows 10 keys for your new PC builds, I'll leave a link in the description. I'd also like to get this out of the way real quick. It is not recommended to do what you're going to see in this video. Uh, Menace Forum does not condone what I'm doing here. This is my own unit. I'm taking the risk here. You could damage your unit, and I'm pretty sure this won't be covered under warranty. I'm going to take the chance here because uh, I've done some testing so far, and the performance is out of this world when it comes to integrated graphics once it's set up like this. Before I show you how I achieve this, I do want to give you a look at one of my favorite games running here. We've got Forza Horizon 5 1080p medium. And this is definitely the best performance that I've seen out of integrated graphics so far. And this is so close to running at 120 FPS on an iGPU 1080p medium. We could get it there by enabling some FSR or even using Fidelity CAS but I wanted to keep it right there at medium settings, and this is really awesome. I've actually seen it jump over 130 FPS. Really great performance out of an iGPU, and it's coming down to being able to send enough power to the CPU and GPU at the same time. The 780M Radeon GPU at full boat, not overclocked, can pull around 36 watts maximum. That's a lot for a small APU, you know, just on the GPU side of things. And of course, we've also got eight Zen 4 cores we need to push. We're at 85 watts right now. We're not pushing 85 watts, as you can see from Afterburner. And the iGPU hasn't even been overclocked yet. We're still at 2800 megahertz. The stock TDP of this mini PC out of the box is 65 watts, but uh, I've taken it up and I want to show you how I did that. Okay, so like I mentioned, this is not recommended to do by Menace Forum. I don't recommend you do it either, but I still want to show you how I achieve these kind of TDPs on this mini PC. And keep in mind, this works with uh, Ryzen 2000 on up. You might run into some HP laptops where this will not work. That's about the only ones that I've run into that uh, just kind of have this all blocked. Now, the first thing I want to show you here is just the stock TDP. So I'm going to run a stress test with CPU-Z. And right here over in core temp, it's just easy to see, 65 watts. This is where it's going to max out. We can change it from the BIOS, but it really doesn't take effect inside of Windows. To do this, I use an application known as Universal x86 Tuning Utility, which is formerly known as APU Tuning Utility. This is really great software. It's been updated quite a bit, and I'll leave a link in the description to the website. We're going to go to Custom. And from here, we've got a lot that we can mess with. APU temperature tuning, APU power tuning, APU iGPU tuning. Basically, what we're going to do is create a preset. And I'm just going to call it, uh, let's do 85A. You can name it whatever you want. From APU power tuning, we're going to go ahead and take these up. Our slow power limit also going to 85. Slow boost duration. I'm going to take it all the way over, 85 here, and our fast boost duration, we're going all the way up. Once I click apply, it's going to allow me to go to 85 watts. But there's a couple more things that I like to do here. Temperature tuning, temperature limit, 95, but our skin temp here, I'm actually going to go up just a bit. And finally, 
we want that iGPU at 3000. Now I'm not going to set it yet. I will in just a second. I want to save my profile and now we're going to apply it. So now when I run this stress test again, you'll see this jump up to 85 watts. So we went from 65 to 85 or 84.5. Doesn't sound like a lot, but when the CPU and GPU are kind of fighting for power, definitely makes a difference. But the last thing I want to do here is actually overclock this iGPU. We know that this 780M and the 7940HS runs at 2800 megahertz. But for this, we're going to go up to 3000 with it. And all of this paired up makes a very potent gaming combo. The synthetic benchmarks aren't much higher than some of the others that I've tested, kind of at 65 watts. Here we have 3D Mark Night Raid coming in with a 30,024. I mean, it's definitely not bad for integrated graphics, but I was expecting a bit more. But the last one we have here is Time Spy with a 3,138. Now getting over 3,000 in Time Spy on an iGPU is awesome, but I've seen it a bit higher. 3300, but that was with 6000 megahertz RAM. And unfortunately, we just can't overclock this RAM over 5600 megahertz in the UM790. Moving over to some game benchmarks that I ran, I've got a couple here. First up, we've got Horizon Zero Dawn. Right now, we're at 1080p, low settings, FSR set to balanced. We could go to performance, but it really gives those jaggies off at performance, even though we're at 1080p. And I could add a little bit of sharpening, but it really doesn't help out much. Or you could always just go with Radeon Super Resolution. Basically, you'd run the game at 720 and it'd kind of upscale it to 1080, but we're at a true 1080 for this benchmark. But either way, by the end of this benchmark, we had an average of 75 FPS, a maximum of 171, and a minimum of 30. So we did go under there in this benchmark, but you know, during gameplay, this is one of those games that does work great on these iGPUs. I also ran the built-in Cyberpunk 2077 benchmark, and this was one of the more impressive ones. We know that uh, CD Projekt Red has been putting out a lot of performance updates when it comes to this game, and right now we're at 1080p low with FSR set to performance. One way I actually like to run this when I'm playing it on these iGPUs is 900p with FSR set to balance, that way we get a super clean picture. I've had good luck recently with all of the new updates, and by the end of this benchmark, we had an average of 80 FPS, but you can see we had a low of 24 and a high of 123. During gameplay, I'd say on average with everything going on out in the city, you're going to get around 74 FPS on average. I also wanted to test out God of War, we're at 900p original settings, FSR set to performance. So we're getting an average of around 68 FPS with this, and going up to 1080, it's going to take it under 60. This is one of those games that once you start scaling it up with these iGPUs, it really does fall on its face. But with these new RDNA 3 graphics, we are getting much better performance than we did with Vega or RDNA 2, and that should be the case across the board, really. But the final one I wanted to test here was a newer one. We've got Street Fighter VI, one that I've been playing a lot. 1080p medium settings, and when this was initially released, we had to drop this down to 900p low settings, but with all of the updates to the game and the AMD drivers, we're now running this and it looks absolutely amazing. Other fighting games are gonna perform just as well, Injustice 2, Mortal Kombat 11, and of course, Street Fighter V is also gonna perform really well. So if you're into fighting games, then this is one that you could definitely play all your favorites on. And, and one other thing I should mention here is at the time of making these videos, we don't have the official AMD driver. Now, hopefully it's gonna be dropping in the next week or two. It's gonna to pertain to something like the 7840, even the uh, Ryzen Extreme Z1, and especially the 7940HS, which we have here. And I'm hoping they kind of delayed that from putting it up on their website just to get some more optimizations out of the way. And if we see a decent jump in performance with the new drivers, I will be making at least one more video here with the 7940HS. But yeah, this is one of my favorite APUs on the market. I just wanted to show you this high TDP testing. If you're interested in seeing a little more, you know, at that 65 watt or even SteamOS 3 running on this machine, I'll leave some links in the description. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always... Thanks for watching.